As a teenager, Yves Saint Saint-Ron left Algeria for Paris to work for designer Christian Dior. He gained acclaim for his dress designs and quickly gained popularity. In 1961, he launched his own fashion label, where his adaptations of tuxedos for women garnered him fame. He was the first living designer to receive a solo exhibition in New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art in 1983. Yves Henry Donat Matthew Sinron was born on August 1, 1936 in Oran, Algeria. He grew up in a villa by the Mediterranean with his two younger sisters, Michelle and Brigitte. His father was a lawyer and insurance broker who owned a chain of cinemas. As a kid, Saint Ron was bullied in school because of his appearance and he became a nervous child that was sick nearly every day to avoid going to school. He however found comfort in the world of fashion. In his early teenage years, he started designing dresses for his mother and sisters. When he turned 17, his mother took him to Paris to meet Michael de Brunhoff, editor of French Vogue. A year later, Saint Ron impressed Brunhoff and he moved to Paris and enrolled at the Chamber Syndicale de la Couture. His designs became popular to the point where the Brunhoff introduced Saint Ron to Christian Dior. Saint Ron spent years under Dior's tutelage and he allowed him to develop even further as a designer with his style maturing and being more noticed by the whole world. After Christian Dior's sudden death, Saint Laurent was named Artistic Director of Dior at the young age of 21. However, in the 60s, Saint Laurent was called back to Algeria to join the fight for independence. He was exempted from joining due to health problems. When he returned to Paris, he found out Dior had replaced him. He then sued the house for breach of contract with the help of his business and life partner, Pierre Burge. With the money, Saint Laurent had a unique opportunity with the rise of pop cultures and he opened his own fashion house in 1961. What came after this was the extraordinary and the revolutionary rise of a designer that changed the whole world of fashion that has inspired millions around the world. In the years to come, we saw amazing designs by Saint Laurent, such as the referred jacket of 1962, adopting the male aesthetic for female clothing, the Mondrian collection of 1965, where fashion and art became one, the Le Smoking collection of 1966, the first time a woman was given a suit to wear, the jumpsuit of 1968, such an essential item in every fashion enthusiast closet and continues to impress on red carpets and runways today. In conclusion, Yves Saint Laurent was a pioneer and a visionary that created timeless pieces that did not belong to its time. He has become such an influence and his designs have changed the world of fashion forever.